another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Again, we are drinking Lords of Death Hopped Rice Lager. Nice, I'll take it. Today we're going to be doing another Patreon request review. This was requested by Stanley Surik, and he would like us to tackle the Toxic Avenger, <laughs> which came out in 1984. Michael Herz and Lloyd Kaufman directed this. They're trauma staples. They've done all of them. All of them, pretty much. <laughs> Patrick Kilpatrick is in this, and he was in Death Warned. He was the Sandman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He all kicks his head into that pipe. <laughs> that pipe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the plot for Toxic Avenger is actually pretty simple, but pretty original at the same time. Our main character, Melvin, the mop boy, <laughs> mops up the local gym. You right. Know, he's, no. oh, he's, a, he's a big nerd and no one likes him. Everyone makes fun of him. There's a group of bullies. Bozo, Slug, Julie. And that hot and tub. tub. Look at that fucking mop boy. Yeah. <laughs> Puts the mop in the <laughs> in the hot tub by accident. <laughs> you fucking asshole! Look what you did. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so their plan is to humiliate Melvin. Julie kind of serenades him, and oh, Melvin! She tricks Melvin into putting on this tutu and this whole ballerina <laughs> outfit. He's all strutting through the gym. He goes into this dark room, and the lights are off. And I'm over here, Melvin. I'm over here. Oh, Julie! Yeah, Julie. Yeah. Julie <laughs> turns on the light. He turns out he's kissing this this cheek. <laughs> Yeah, it's all done up to like, the lipstick on <laughs> the bra. Everyone is in on this and yeah. watching him. He jumps out the window into these barrels of toxic waste, which are sitting there in a flatbed truck. Truck drivers are all doing this cocaine. <laughs> the faces are all full of it. Oh, it's all bubbling up. Melvin's on fire. Doodly ding, doodly ding, doodly. Slowly starts transforming into the Toxic Avenger. That's right. <laughs> His mother, oh, my Melvin, finally hit puberty. Yeah. <laughs> It's not fucking puberty, he's fucking melting. Three sort of gangster guys, and one of them like, is this cigar face is his name. <laughs> They're trying to bribe this cop in this back alley. The cop doesn't want anything to do with it, right? He's a clean cop. Yeah, he's a clean cop. They all start beating this shit right out of him. Taking the to him. <laughs> oh, man. Lo and behold, here comes the Toxic Avenger, and he kind of just jumps into the scene and starts beating the shit out of all of these guys. He picks up, like, that cigar face guy, and he puts him, like, face down in that barrel and starts punching his nuts all <laughs> down. <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> I think when he elbows that one guy, Jesus, <laughs> his nose is all gone and everything. Puts his two fingers through that guy's <laughs> eyes, dude. Yeah. There's also a wicked fight scene at the taco restaurant. This is where he finds his love interest. It turns out that she's blind. He saves her from these, like, hooligans. They end up having, like, a nice life together. They make a nice home and everything. In the junkyard. Yeah, yeah, in the junkyard. <laughs> like, through all this garbage yeah. and everything that they kind of put together. The montage. montage. <laughs> yeah. Must be love. <laughs> that song. So, like, the word is out. This... Toxic Avengers the, the out monster there. Yeah, hero. this monster, he's out there and he's like fighting for your rights. We also get introduced to the mayor of this town who's all corrupt and he wants to sell like all this pristine beachfront property to dump toxic waste. The Toxic Avenger, he's gotta beat these corrupt city officials and he's also gonna take revenge on the people who did him wrong. Who turned him into the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> exactly. Now this brings us to the treasure of this movie. Almost <laughs> everything is a treasure for this movie. The fact that the movie knows what it is it knows that it's campy, it knows it's stupid, it knows that the acting is not good, and uses all that stuff to its advantage, exaggerates everything. Yeah, and it sort of helps to cover all the bad stuff up, right? right. Yeah. It uses it perfectly. The 80s were a big time of indulgence. So you have right. a lot of, like, toxic waste dumping, yeah. you have a lot of corruption, drug use, yeah. bringing to light and making fun of like all the body image stuff exactly. in this movie with the gym, yeah, the everybody gym, at yeah. the gym. Fuck! 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got to do more. Yeah. As stupid as it is, it's also great social commentary. Exactly. You couldn't make this movie with serious actors. You couldn't hire Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> to be in this movie and have it work. No, you have to hire actors who are gonna be silly and over the top and campy. And they're using the camp to cover up the fact that they can't act. It's perfect. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. The pacing in the, of this movie is so good too. Like there's no dull moment. There's not one moment where you're like, ah, come on, pick it up. Exactly. It's, it's, it's balls to the walls, either comedy or action or character building or humor. Throughout the whole movie, yeah, and you get no, you get no rest, and everything's over the top, yeah. right? So even yeah. like the dull parts are super over the yeah. top, and you still get entertained yeah. regardless, which yeah. is awesome. Like some movies drag on, they feel like they were super long, and they were only an hour and a half. This movie's an hour and a half, and feels like it's forty-five minutes because yeah. it's just like yeah, yeah, exactly, it's non-stop. And that brings us to the effects, like. The effects are one of the hallmarks of this movie. It also shows how you can make really good simple effects on a low budget. Everything here looks great. Yeah. There's no CGI. It's all, let's use what we can, you know? Like, let's p take a watermelon and put a wig on it and make it look like a kid's head and drive over to <laughs> the car. Yeah. It looks it's, fucking great. It's all in the cutting and the editing, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's, it's... It's artistic. I like when they show his foot too and he's putting the pedal to the yeah. metal. There's all those beer cans yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. Like <laughs> subtle things like that, yeah, right? Exactly. And this brings us to like the entire scene in the taco restaurant. It's <laughs> fucking great. Rips up that guy's <laughs> he arm. He goes to flip him around and just tears his arm. He doesn't even notice it right away. Like, Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> oh! He makes that Sunday out of that. <laughs> that guy's face. That Sandman guy. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all this time to put all the ice cream in and everything. With the scooper, yeah. with the clicking thing. And puts his face in that... <laughs> yeah, the, the milkshake yeah. maker thing. And then he deep fries that guy's hands and he, like wrenches all those pipes yeah. down onto him. Like, fuck, that's great. <laughs> that drug dealer kind of goes through those those shitty leg movements on that machine. Oh, that, oh yeah, that yeah, exercise machine. Yeah. Then he takes his head and lifts those weights <laughs> yeah. and just lets the weights go and boom. Yeah. Which we did a kill like that, and that we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Without seeing Toxic Avenger. No, I had seen it. Oh really? Yeah. No, I hadn't seen it at I that time. I probably ripped it right off. <laughs> Even the Melvin's on fire scene is good, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, you can't really tell that it's a guy in a fire suit. Looks like a guy's bare skin. Yeah, it's not all fat looking. Like, those fire suits always look all fat. Yeah. And then when he turns into the Toxic Avenger, he's all bubbling and everything. Yeah. And he's... It's awesome. Like, it looks great. Yeah, yeah like the effects for a low-budget movie is oh, spectacular. The comedy is just... It's so over the top, but it's also smart. Yeah. And it's placed perfectly yeah. too funny but it's also a little heartwarming too like when right. melvin finds the love and they're <laughs> they're building the house together it's kind of like oh like you're kind of like oh the music in this movie is fucking killer whenever <laughs> yeah. i watch this movie i always get the music stuck in my head especially that body talk yeah. song yeah body talk yeah <laughs> body talk <laughs> i want to listen to your body talk <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. It's like they're all in the gym and everybody's yeah. smoking and everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's hilarious. This movie has done more than spawn sequels. It launched a whole company. If this movie failed, Troma would have failed. There would have been no Troma films. It spawned a lot of stuff, right, in pop culture. Yeah. Like, sequels, three sequels. Yep. Yeah. And a cartoon. A children's cartoon <laughs> was based off of the Toxic Avenger, which is insane. <laughs> Yeah, just from something that I'm sure these guys, they probably put all of their money into it, yeah. hoping that it would just make them a bit back, and yeah. it spawned this yeah. huge thing. Which brings us to the trash of this movie. So what is bad about this movie? We kind of agonized about this, actually, and to be honest, there is not much that's trash about it. Depending on whose eyes you're seeing through, you know, seeing through a horror fan's eyes, Yeah. I can't say anything bad about this film. Everything that's everything that should be sort of bad about it is kind of covered up by 
the camp. Yeah. And the fact that they use that to their advantage, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so, really, there's nothing bad about it. Hoity toity film critics <laughs> would say this movie is a complete piece of trash. This utter garbage, gore, and guts, and blood, and sex, and tits. But it's way more than they're just exactly. not even, they're, they're not, not even trying. skimming the surface, right? <laughs> and you know what, Siskel and Ebert? You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so who cares? So we're both gonna rate the Toxic Avenger a complete piece of treasure. This movie should be in the Criterion Collection. <laughs> exactly. It is a piece of American film history. That's right. It's got everything you'd ever want. And it's just a fun party movie too. Like mm -hmm. you can put it on and just have a blast watching it. Yep. Any small, low budget company wants to do what Toxic Avenger did. So until next time, keep drinking.